Let's have a look at uh, all these phrases. These phrases means these are nothing but the group of words. When two words come together or there could be more than two words, it forms a phrase. So this is a phrase, a tennis ball, a bank manager, income tax, a film actor, a London doctor. Now let's study all these phrases. Ball is a noun and tennis is also a noun. Now which ball? Ball used to play tennis. This is a noun qualifying the other noun. This noun is giving information about this noun. Bank manager. Which manager? A manager who is working in the bank. So bank is a noun qualifying manager, giving additional information about manager. Income tax. Which tax? Income tax. Income is also a noun and this noun is giving additional information about another noun. A film actor. Film is noun qualifying the other noun, actor. A London doctor. London is also a noun qualifying doctor. So here you will see that all these first nouns work like adjectives. They work like adjectives means they give additional information about these nouns. But they are not adjectives. They are nouns. So here we have seen a phrase which is noun plus noun. Two nouns come together and it forms a new idea. So this is called as a noun phrase. These noun phrases are of different kinds. Here we are talking about noun plus noun. So now, now the next group, a television camera, a television program, a television studio, a television producer. So here with the word, with this television, sing, with here, with this word television, you are convinced. Here, television qualifies different words and as a result, it forms different ideas. Television camera is a different idea. Um, television studio is a different uh, concept. A television producer is a different concept. So here, a uh, single word. So here, common... Uh, Now let's look at these uh, phrases, language problems, health problems, work problems, marriage problems. Here this main noun is common here, problems, problems, problems. But these problems are different because of this noun which is used before this noun. Language problems are, language problems are different from health problems. Work problems and marriage problems are different from one another. Now here garden vegetables garden vegetables means vegetables which are grown in garden we are talking about vegetables mainly a vegetable garden now here we are talking about garden uh, in which vegetables are grown here we are talking about vegetables here we are talking about garden another thing is if you break this word you will get this head and ache there are two words combined together to form one word, a headache. Here again, tooth, pest. But we write these words as a single word. Weak and stomach ache. Here we have written both these words separately. Table, tennis. These are two different nouns and they are brought together. Sometimes two nouns are written together to form a single word. Sometimes these two nouns are written separately. A machine that is used to wash clothes, that's called as washing machine. So we add here ing to this word in bracket. So this word in bracket is nothing but verb. So by adding ing to the verbs, we can also make nouns which qualify again uh, the other noun. Uh, 
washing machine. So we have here formed uh, this noun washing by adding ing to the verb. This is basically verb. We added ing and made it as a noun which qualified another noun, a washing machine. The same is the case here with fry. We can add ing and we can say a frying pan. Swim, swimming pool. Water, drink. Drinking, water. Writing, pad. Jogging, track. Here again you will see a noun phrase because here the keyword is noun, glass. It's noun. And this is what kind of glass? Broken glass. And this broken is made from break. Break is a verb. Third form of the break is broken. Break, broke, broken. So by taking the third form, past participle of the verb, we can form a noun which can qualify the other noun. For example, sealed packet. Packet is noun. Sealed packet. Seal is a verb. So we added ed third form and made a noun sealed packet married couple couple is a noun married is also a noun but it has been formed from marry verb forgotten memories memories is a noun but you will see that verb is used third form of the verb is used to qualify this noun forgotten forget forgot forgotten these are the three forms of the verb Third form is used here to qualify this noun. Rotten vegetables. Which kind of vegetables? Rotten vegetables. Rot is the verb. And third form of rot is used here to qualify vegetables. To add information about vegetables, uh, we have taken the third form here of this verb. Sold articles. Articles is a noun. And sold is the word which is basically sell and the third form of sell is sold. So here we have seen a uh, verb with ing qualifies noun and acts as a noun. Uh, here again we saw a uh, verb in the third form becomes a noun and it can qualify the, uh, the other noun. Let's read these noun phrases. A three hour journey. A four week English course. Two 14 year old girls, a three page letter. Now I underline the main nouns, key nouns, journey, course, girls and letter. These are the main nouns used in these phrases and the other nouns are talking about these nouns. So let's study these, the other nouns whether they are singular or plural. Three hour journey. Now in case of three hours, we say three hours, it is always plural. But here we have taken it as a singular. A three hour journey. A four week English course. A four week, it should be four weeks. It should be plural, but we are taking it as singular. So whenever we are using nouns in noun phrases, to qualify the main nouns then they have to be in the singular form two 14 year old girls a three page letter so always it is singular remember in noun phrase the qualifying noun uh, always comes in singular form 